Greetings! Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Messages from Lexi and I'm so excited to be back with another Timeless Pick a Card reading for you all. It's been a minute since I've done like an updated, unfiltered, non-sugar-coated uh, reading for how do they currently view you. So that's what I'm going to do for y'all today. I have three decks you guys can choose from. Deck one, deck two, deck three. You can choose one deck per person, one deck for multiple people. Just kind of tap into your intuition to choose what will resonate most for you. Once you choose your deck, timestamps will be down below in the description box where you can also find other ways to connect with me further. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and jump into your readings. Greetings. Welcome. Those of you guys who chose deck one, glad to have you here. So let's tap in, y'all, and see how does the person on your mind currently view you? Ancestors, spirit guides, oh, ancestors and spirit guides, what y'all trying to tell me? <laughs> Highest good of power one, how does the person on their mind currently view them? How does the person on power one's mind? <laughs> this person feels like you are good at juggling, you are good at multitasking, you are good at doing things, uh, multiple things at once. For some of you, this person also kind of feels like you could have like ADD or ADHD or your mind can be all over the place. You could be all over the place. You always have like many different things on your mind, many different tasks you're trying to complete. I'm hearing busybody. So this person views you as like someone who's a busybody or you have a very busy mind. Okay, pile one. We have strength. Yeah, whomever you're asking about, when they think of you, they're like, man, I don't know how pile one does it if i were pile one i would have a breakdown if i were pile one i wouldn't be able to handle all the things that they handle so again this person feels like you're really good at juggling so many different things and it's like they view you as someone with a lot on your plate and in order to properly balance all the things that you have on your plate you have to be very mentally strong this person definitely views you as very resilient fortitude i keep hearing like fortitude persistent yeah this person views you as someone who's very persistent i'm getting a mixed bag of admiration and jealousy some of you guys this person's a bit triggered and jealous for some of you this person like admires you in the strength but they definitely view you as someone who's stronger than them more resilient than them able to handle more responsibilities or more tasks than them there's a lot of comparison they compare themselves to you and deem you as a stronger individual we have ace of wands they view you as someone who's exciting to be around or you're good at getting other people excited the magician Ooh. this person is very intimidated by your power I view you as someone who has the support of the universe or support of spirit. It's like you have the full package. You have a ton of energy. You have a ton of strength. You're able to juggle multiple things. You're a powerful manifester or you have the support of spirit. And spirit utilizes that support to make life easier. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This person views you as someone where you keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Or you are good at keeping tabs on your enemies. If this is an enemy you're asking about, they view you as somebody who put magic on them and that magic is working. If this is a lover, they're wanting to know, like, did you put a love spell on me? <laughs> did you pray or say something? To make me fall in love with you because for those of you guys where you're asking about a love interest this person has a very strong intense attraction towards you um on a physical mental and emotional level and they're trying to figure out is this organic or did pa one do a little magic on me because it's overwhelming it's very intense if you're asking about a co-worker or a friend be mindful that they aren't using magic to try and Take or emulate. Pile one. How does the person on pile one's mind view them? 
They view you as somebody, Nine of Pentacles, who is definitely a full package. They feel like you have a nice body. They feel like your finances are doing good or you're on the path to improving your finances. They view you as someone who's very self-sufficient. It's like you do all these things on your own, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, the strength. It's like you have multiple jobs or you have a kid and a job or you're in school and you have a pet and you exercise or there's just this energy of, dude, how does pile one do all of this you know how do they look good smell good still go to school still work take care of the kid like whatever it is and seem to be doing perfectly okay we have five of swords i'm telling you it's like even though this person is viewing you in a very positive regard with the exception of those of you guys who are asking about like a romantic interest you're on good terms of you got to be a little bit careful because there's these weird feelings of envy, jealousy, oh, I want that for myself that are arising in this person when they think of you. Um, so you got to kind of just be mindful that they're not trying to take from you, whether it's like spiritually or literally, you know, trying to take your jewelry or trying to take your person or something like that. We have the page of wands. I heard the pursuit of something new. They view you as somebody who's currently in the pursuit of something new um, or you're always in pursuit of something new. You're always in pursuit of a new adventure or a new opportunity. They view you as somebody who is excited to explore. They also, ooh, yeah, you're in search of new opportunities, new locations, new financial opportunities. They also view you as very studious as well. It's like, what is it? that you can't do what can you not do that's what this person is like is there anything pal one cannot do <laughs> eight of pinnacles then we have the tattoo artist that came out <laughs> you know i don't normally read the eight of pinnacles this way but there's almost like an edginess i'm getting from this eight of pinnacles like look at this little bandana and the tattoo and then the flames and i feel like this is the first time i've seen this card i'm not sure i've pulled this card before and then we have the seven of cups this person just views you as multifaceted you have multiple aspects of your personality you have multiple masks multiple hobbies multiple talents multiple just just a lot of multiples within you you're hard to put into a box you're hard to describe with just certain you know um a couple key words there's just like so many elements to you one two three adjectives is not enough to describe you you know one minute you're edgy and fiery one minute you're studious one minute you're wild one minute you're taking a spontaneous trip one minute you're juggling the world and the responsibilities on your shoulder and this person you know is admiring this and feeling a little bit jealous of this and feeling attracted depending on who you're asking about okay because it slightly varies depending on the person. All right, so interesting reading, but that's what I have for you, Pop One. Y'all sound like a very interesting bunch. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below if you like to book readings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Pi One. Greetings, welcome to your reading, Pop Two. Let's tap in and see how does the person on your mind currently view you, Pop Two. Ancestors and spirit guides, the highest good, my lovely souls who chose Pop Two. Ancestors and spirit guides, the highest good. My lovely souls who chose Pal 2. Let's tap into this energy and see how does the person on Pal 2's mind currently view them. Ooh, it wants to come out. Pal 2. We have the High Priestess. This person views you as very secretive. They view you as somebody who is not only good at keeping secrets, but good at uncovering secrets. Like, you're good at keeping your own secrets. And good at uncovering the secrets and mysteries of other people. This person views you as somebody who's hiding an aspect of themselves from them. They feel like they've only gotten to know you on a surface level, but there's a lot of depth. Like, look at how this lady is looking at what appears to be her reflection. She's staring back at herself. This person feels like they've only met this side of you. But they feel like there's a whole nother aspect of you, like in this reflection that they have yet to meet. They feel like they have met the watered down, sugar coated or professional customer service version of you. But there is a layer of darkness or a layer of depth 
that they have yet to explore i'm seeing like a visual of the ocean it's like the ocean the ocean is so vast and on a surface level we've explored so much but when it comes to the deepest depths of the ocean and the ocean's floor we haven't even discovered not even one percent of what exists and that is a wonderful metaphor for how this person views you they view you like the ocean pal too they may have discovered a lot of what's on the surface but they understand there is a whole bunch of depth buried down somewhere deep 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 below the mask that you wear and there is so much hidden that they have yet to explore <clears throat> The justice that's wanting to come out at the bottom i'm getting two messages for some of you they view you as an individual who uncovered secrets necessary for a case um but for a majority of you this is more so they view you as an individual who's very balanced and very fair in your thinking you're naturally just a balanced and fair person you don't like to take advantage of people you don't like to be taken advantage of and when you feel like you've been wronged you can be very harsh in the name of justice. You see it as balancing the scales. They view you as an individual who's like an eye for an eye, a finger for a finger, you know, a head for a head. You do right by me, I do right by you. You do wrong by me, I do wrong by you. We have the three of cups, but then we have the four of swords. This person views you as what do they call it an introverted extrovert or extroverted introvert i'm not sure what order they're supposed to go in but this person views you as an individual where you know how to work a crowd when you go out you know how to have a good time but after you work a crowd or after you deal with people or go to an event for swords you need time to rest you need time to recuperate you need your alone time you need your meditation time they view you as somebody where you definitely value your own space you don't like people getting in your private bubble. You don't like people getting in your personal space. You don't like people getting in your personal life. You're not the type of person where you like to share your passcodes with your partner or your best friend. You know, if you see somebody looking at your laptop, computer screen, your phone screen while you're typing or you're texting, you're going to like close the screen and look at them like, mind your business, okay? Um, this person is very baffled at how you can be so influential and be so personable yet so introverted and so private at the same time like it's giving beyonce how beyonce is known by millions if not billions of people all over the world and yet she does a very good job at staying private or low-key it's like she's in front of all these different people on concerts and cameras and getting thousands of likes on instagram but yet somehow she still comes off as private low-key you know introverted it's giving that type of energy beyonce oh lot is my flight like that <laughs> all right pal two we have nine of wands yeah you have walls up for days okay this person views you as somebody who has walls up for days and it's not easy to get past those walls. You're very protective over yourself. You're very protective over your privacy. You're very protective over your energy and who you choose to spend time with. You're just very protective over yourself, period, point blank. It's hard to get past these walls. It's hard to get past these walls to get to know the depths of the high priestess. <laughs> mm. You're a tough cookie, pal, too. That's how this person views you. So we have five of swords. This person views you as somebody who doesn't like to show when you're stressed. They view you as an individual who retreats when you're going through things. You would rather disappear or go into your shell or, you know, kind of hide away and lick your wounds than let people see you slip in. They also view you as somebody who does not do well with being lied to or being deceived, which is why you're someone that takes pride in being able to undercover or uncover, excuse me, secrets. Six of Wands, yeah. They view you as somebody where when life is rough or you're going through some things, you like to hide away. And then when life is going good or things are going good, you like to come out and be seen, be known. You like compliments. 
but only when things are going good though this person feels like you get irritated when you get compliments or positive feedback when things are going good for you but when things are going good for you then you love to get compliments and feedback interesting so i'm going to close that there that's what i have for you pal too interesting reading y'all sound like some cool people like share comment subscribe y'all know where to go down below like the book readings rituals all that greatness otherwise i'll see you in the next one bye pal too greetings welcome pal three last but never least let's tap 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 in and see how does the person or the people on your mind currently view you i feel like out of all the piles you guys will be the you will have more people or the most people i should say that came to watch for multiple individuals because everybody else i just felt like drawn to one energy where you guys i'm getting like multiple individuals so even if you came here with one person in mind i'm getting that this reading will still resonate with how a lot of people view you not just this one person and for the rest of you you're just coming here with multiple people in mind to kind of get like a generalized overview so i feel you i see you so let's tap in pile three <laughs> ancestors talk to me you know i like to talk all the way back how does the person or the people on pile three's mind currently view all three ancestors and spirit guides are the highest good of thank you we have the hierophant we have justice you're viewed as traditional um and it's very interesting because i'm getting for some of you this is like first impression or a curated persona and for others of you this is genuinely how you are okay um but i'm definitely getting that you're being viewed as very traditional um you're being viewed as like someone <laughs> i heard a good law-abiding citizen that's hilarious <laughs> i don't always get that with the justice card but you're definitely being viewed as um someone who's traditional someone who is a law-abiding citizen someone who is ethical someone who follows the rules who plays by the rules someone who doesn't cheat and doesn't like to be cheated um there's this energy of in legal matters or matters where you're up against somebody or something you're being viewed as the favorable party and when it comes to spiritual matters um this is the same. Some of you guys have been dealing with spiritual warfare. Some of you guys have been dealing with legal warfare. Some of you guys are up against a formidable um, enemy, foe, company, or someone with a lot of resources, and you're being viewed as the favorable, fair, or reasonable party in this conflict. You're being viewed as someone that has justice on their side or spirit on their side god is on your side you're being viewed as someone who's being protected by the law or being protected by spiritual unseen forces and this is because you've done things by the book spiritually speaking legally speaking ethically speaking you've done things by the book you've done things in a way that allows you to have a clear conscience and because of this you're viewed as someone who's supported by the law and or spirit for some of you i mean yeah i guess the government the law kind of go hand in hand but you're being viewed as favored because you've done the right thing and you've done right by people we have the aeon you're being viewed as somebody who has long overdue justice coming to them There is like long overdue payment, long overdue ruling, long overdue something. Something long overdue is coming to you. And you deserve it. It's owed to you. We have the Knight of Swords, the Game Master. You're being viewed as somebody who played the long game. The Aeon and the Game Master, you played the long game. You played the long game. You did things by the book. You were patient. You are resilient. You believed in yourself. And now some long overdue justice or payment for your efforts is on the way. The person or the people you ask, you're asking about, they underestimated you. You have the capacity and the capability to do things dirty. 
you have the capacity and the capability to get, you know, down and dirty in the mud if need be. But there is a certain decision or there is a certain scenario or something could be involving this person or people that you sat down and thought about and said, okay, in order for me to get the best outcome in the long run, I need to do things by the book. I need to gather the evidence. I need to follow the laws. I need to document this properly, whatever it is. And these people thought you were just, you know, naive or this person thought you were naive or easy to take advantage of or blinded to what was going on around you. Glasses, blindfold, glasses, glasses. They thought you were naive or just blinded to what was going on around you when really you peaked game before the situation even fully took place. And you said, all right, I'm going to do things the right way. And by the time this situation is done and over, Everyone else is going to be knocked over on fire, and I'm going to be the only one still standing. And so this type of scenario has played out or is playing out in your life. And whether or not this person you're asking about is involved or the people you're asking about is involved or not, they see it and they recognize that they underestimated how intelligent you are. They underestimated how long you're willing to wait in order to get a favorable outcome. They thought you were naive and now they understand that is not the case. You are probably the most intelligent or one of the most intelligent people that they have met or went up against. And it's like they almost have, they're almost giving you your props. Even if this is an enemy, even if this is someone you're asking about, it's like they're giving you your props. And if this is someone on your side or someone who's helping you, you know, the same message applies to giving you your props, but there's something interesting about those of you guys where you're asking about individual you're up against or people you're up against or that don't like you, despite whatever's going on, they have to give you your props. It's almost like, I feel like this happens in movies sometimes where the villain finally gets defeated and the person that defeated them did such a good job at playing them at their own game. They can't help but to go from being upset to just saying like, damn, like you really won. You beat me at my own game. Good job. So for many of you, this person feels like you beat them at their own game. And if you're not going up against this person, they feel like you're one of the few people who could beat them at their own game, even if they're just observing you. They view you as an individual who's definitely underestimated and not to be played with. They view you as someone who may even play dumb. Or dumb yourself down or conceal how intelligent you are, how cunning you are. Until it's time to let people know. Seven of Wands. You're not to be played with. The star. This person views you as an individual with a very bright future. If they tried to take away your bright future, they recognize they weren't successful and that you will proceed on to accomplish great things. And, you know, if this person or these people didn't try to take away your future, they view you as somebody who is willing to stand up for yourself and stand up for your goals and stand up for your beliefs. And because of that, no matter what obstacles or enemies or foes or complications you may face on your way, you are still destined for a bright future. Mm -hmm. So nothing at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to stop that there. Really cool reading. That's what I have for you, Pal 3. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know where to go down below. Like to book readings, rituals, all that greatness. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Pile 3.